Hi, I'm Brianna with IT Supplies. HP has changed the way that white ink is used and maintained with their latest latex printers. It is now easier and more affordable than ever to offer white ink. We are often asked what applications white could be used for, so this video is all about the five ways to print with white ink. I'm going to show you printed samples and give examples of the many ways to utilize it. Before we get into the five ways to print white, I wanna talk about why white has been difficult in the past. Print shop owners will tell you that printing with white ink has been a challenge, to say the least, for many, many years. The reason for that is because it requires a lot of maintenance and can get costly if not cared for properly. White ink is made using titanium dioxide, which is a highly effective white pigment due to its brightness and opacity. The pigment is suspended into whatever the carrier fluid is for the ink. So for latex, that would be water. Titanium dioxide is heavier than color pigments, so white ink is thick and has a tendency to settle. Because of this, most white ink will have instructions to shake the cartridge every so many hours to prevent that sedimentation. Since it is thicker than color inks, it can also cause clogged print heads. The best way to prevent that is to either use it frequently or do regular cleanings to keep the print heads fresh. Clearly, with all of those prevention measures and potentially wasted ink, having it can turn into a costly offering. That is exactly what HP considered and changed when they released their latex printers. HP's white ink solution is different from anything else on the market. They use a circulation system, which constantly moves the white ink from one cartridge to another, keeping the ink fresh and ready to use. To eliminate waste from the printhead's cleaning, they have a circulation chamber where you can insert the two white printheads when they are not in use. You would then insert auxiliary or dummy printheads into the carriage. All right, let's get into the five ways to print white. First up is the fastest and most common method that we see. Spot. When printing white as a spot color, it is exactly like it sounds. You are putting white in one area of the image. That could either be in a file with a lot of color, where you only need white in certain spots, or like our sample here, which is done on a clear media, and we've used white for the entire graphic. This would go in a window, most likely. Other uses for spot could be privacy film, window clings, or any colored media where you need white accents. All the other types of white printing are going to flood the graphic somehow. So the next one we have is under flood. Under flood is when you print white underneath color. So it's good to hide colored media in certain areas or print onto clear media, which is adhered to a non-white substrate. Our example is done on metallic paper. The image has some areas with nothing where you can see the metallic coming through, especially in the kids' creepy, shiny eyes. The under flood is done behind all of the color so that we still have a really vibrant print. The opposite of that is over flood. Over flood is done by printing white over color. So this is really meant for rigid applications like our example, which is on acrylic. You would be viewing this image from the opposite side of the acrylic, and we want it to look really opaque, so we added that white layer after the color. This print was done on the HP R1000 in our showroom. The next method is called three layer. What you're doing here is printing in three layers. Color, white, color. This is really great for backlits that you want to look good during the day and at night. Adding that layer of white, then a second colored image behind it, makes for a really vibrant print during the day. And then once you light it up as a backlit, the saturation helps keep it as vibrant as possible. The example in this book shows a clear film that would look good from both sides of a window. Last up is five layer. The five layers are color, white, black, white, color. What you are doing with this is creating a block out layer for a double-sided print. So again, this would be great on a clear media, 
maybe hung in a window where you wanna see two different images on either side. The layers of white that you add increases the opacity for both prints, where you add the black layer in the middle to separate them. So here we've got our sample with one image on one side and a different image on the other side. Fair warning, this mode is very, very slow. So make sure you check the print time and are charging your client enough if you wanna do five layer mode. Another caveat with this is it's only available on HP 700W and 800W and they're flatbed printers. We have a really great how-to video that Bob did showing three layer and five layer printing. So if you wanna learn more about that, be sure to check out our channel for that video. All right, those are the five modes for printing white with HP Latex. I hope it has helped shed some light on the different ways that white can be used and how easy HP makes it to add white as an offering. If you have other ideas for how to use white ink, we wanna hear them, so leave a comment below. If you have a question or would like some samples from our printers, make sure you connect with us by calling, sending us an email, or again, leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.